Newtonian mechanics and gravity work excellently in the solar system, except for Mercury. And we still use them. They apply to the entire universe. Not just Mercury, I remind you. Relativistic celestial mechanics helped launch probes to Saturn. To fly between the inner edge of its rings and the planet's surface, relativistic effects had to be taken into account. We have a specialist, Bromberg, who authored a monograph on relativistic celestial mechanics and participated in these calculations, along with other experts. So even within the solar system, when precise targeting is required, calculations according to Einstein are necessary. Yes. General relativity works as long as objects are large. It also explains the expansion of the universe and that time slows down. When I approach a black hole and you watch me fall toward the event horizon, you see that time for me slows down more and more. You will get tired of watching, go have some tea, and later maybe retire and write a book about it. While from your perspective, I still never reach the horizon. Physicists have a saying, now you can watch endlessly how water flows, how fire burns, and how someone falls into a black hole. Literally, this can be observed endlessly. Whereas if you throw me into a supermassive black hole, I hope I'll have at most one day left. And nothing terrible will happen to you, except for the very last millimeters near the event horizon. You will continue falling, and I will never see it. It's good that I stayed outside. Think about this. Staying outside, you'll have time to wonder whom I might meet there, but I'll never tell you. I won't have a reference frame to observe from, because as you said at the beginning, gravity is extremely strong. Our world is fundamentally quantum, so quantum effects must be considered when gravity is extremely strong.